Agilite has a different theory on how placards should be designed, and their thought process is the mag pouches should be perfected first and then kind of grow out that expansion. Instead of giving you just a stupid open pocket with these elastic mag socks, I'm telling you, these things should just be thrown in a river. To add salt to the wound, this stupid elastic sock is normally sold out, so you end up with a big open pouch while you wait for this garbage to come in stock and then pay another $15 flat rate shipping. <laughs> God, a bunch of raisins in my mouth. Hey, welcome back my favorite robe wearing wand wavers. I got a bit of kit today that I did teased you already and I think you're all gonna love it because it really rounds out this whole Agilite suite. Today we'll be taking a look at the all new Agilite Pincer Placard Second Layer Molly. And this released like yesterday, so much like the Pincer Placard Multicaliber, if you already ordered one of these, great. Well, now you can just watch this video, we'll go over it while you wait for it to ship to you. It seems really simple when you first look at it, but Agilite really has taken a much smarter approach to the whole placard and expansion by really making sure the mag pouches themselves are done well first. I'll explain it to you all, we'll go into detail of it, but first, let's take a moment and thank today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored in part by Nocturne Industries. Nocturne is leading the charge in night vision innovation with the all new Manicore R. With smart IR illumination and manual gain all in a ruggedized housing, the Manicore R pushes night vision design to a new level. From the new user just getting started in night vision all the way to the operational professional, Nocturne Industries has you covered. Yes, yes, I know, I owe you a video on the Manicore R and I'm working on some night vision content also for like what is the effective range of night vision. I think you're gonna like that, it's really pretty cool. Um, but as always, you can use discount code TLDCO over at nocturneindustries.com. All right, love me some Nocturne and love me some Agilite. So yeah, there you go, there's my biases. So where was I earlier? Oh yeah, the placard design. Agilite has a different theory on how placards should be designed and their thought process is the mag pouches should be perfected first and then kind of grow out that expansion. Like how the pincer multi-caliber can hold multiple different mag types such as the AKs and PMAG Gen 3s for those weirdos. It gives fantastic retention and re-indexing. Instead of giving you just a stupid open pocket with these elastic mag socks, I'm telling you, these things should just be thrown in a river. I do want to take a moment to shout out Shaw though. Having Tegris reinforce edges is super smart. And Agilite and Shaw are the only folks that seem to recognize just how horrible the elastic design is. Okay, maybe Javelin too. This thing's pretty awesome also. To add salt to the wound, this stupid elastic sock is normally sold out, so you end up with a big open pouch while you wait for this garbage to come in stock and then pay another $15 flat rate shipping. <laughs> God, a bunch of raisins in my mouth. So with the pincer placard, you're already working the idea backwards and you don't need a bunch of extra crap. So with that then, what the heck is the second layer molly? Much like the second layer admin pouch that connects into the pincer, the second layer molly, as the name implies, is a panel that connects in the same way, but with an empty molly panel. So instead of having the admin panel with just like one slot that you can add in pistol mags or something like this, you have the full molly panel here that you can customize for whatever you wanna do. The molly panel mimics the same second layer panel design in its shape and connection system and uses an inner curve panel core to give it some shape. The panel then works to give user that basic level of expansion to their pincer placard system. I personally like the second layer admin, which is like the admin panel and the two pistol mags, but I do like the idea too of being able to customize this for whatever mission set or whatever crazy stuff I can think of. For instance, you could run three pincer singles in this configuration and have a second row of mag pouches that sit slightly offset and at a different height to be able to easily retrieve them. This is perfect for that ding dong I heard about that wanted like 30 mags on their setup. Here's a good start. Just like five more of these and you'll be all set. So stupid. 
Now, for home defense or like civilian use cases, I think this would be a little bit ridiculous. But for like military, like a gunner or like, you know, heavy loadout, this may be exactly what you need. So it just kind of shows you some of the different arrangements you can do. But let me show you one more setup that I actually liked a whole lot more than this and I thought was really pretty cool. Take a look at this setup. Here I use the Agilite single pistol pouch as a multi-tool pouch. Then I set the Agilite general purpose pouch in the center and used a Grim Hunter rapid horizontal mag pouch. And this is all just a little bit ridiculous, but I'm showing you some of the different options you can do and kind of giving you an example of the level of customization that's been added here that I've pretty much always wanted. I mean, like now I have tools, I have cool admin pouches to store things. I have this random horizontal mag that I'm, I'm sure isn't gonna get snagged on anything. This is totally gonna get snagged on everything. Yeah, pre pretty much everything. I can't wait to use a sling with this. But uh, seriously, Agilite, uh, how long for a sideways pincer single? This is, you know, positioning aside, this is pretty sweet. Regardless of how ridiculous you set this up though, the panel gives you options to go full on one man lone wolf or develop your own smart and effective setup for your team and mission set. I highly, highly recommend the whole lone wolf thing. It always works out super, super well. That's a joke because it's super stupid. Let me show you how to connect all this stuff up though. To connect the rear panel into the pincer, the Molly panel has three rear tabs that are first fed through the openings on the pincer mag pouches. Now I'm realizing at this point that Lev has like hands of steel, but get some tools because this part takes a second. Once you finally get it fed through though, slide the center tabs through the middle to secure it to the rear and then connect the sides into your pincer placard. Installation definitely takes a second and I think that's really my only con for this whole thing. It's just not super easy to only swap out your Molly panel if like your mission set changed and you needed something else in your loadout. If you needed that functionality, I would recommend you have a different placard just all set up and instead swap placards for different mission sets as that process takes like seconds. And yeah, that does cost a little bit more, but also the idea of weaving and unweaving all of your different items on the Molly panel is also, <laughs> a little bit stupid. So really having multiple different placard loadouts makes a lot more sense if you're on a dynamic team like that. Overall, I think the second layer Molly adds that customization that everyone has asked for, giving users the ability to add in exactly what they need for their exact mission requirements. It's simple and well-designed and easy to use with a very good base of the entire pincer placard. I think my only gripe, like I mentioned, is that it takes a little bit of time to put it all together and connect it all up. But hold on, hear me out on this. Two sideways pouches. We'll see if we can get Agilite to make those. I've had luck with the pincer shorties already, so we'll see. But I hope this video on the Agilite second layer Molly was useful in your purchasing decisions. I wanna say thanks to all of our Patreon and YouTube members. You guys make it possible we get to review all this gear and test everything out. And I just love you guys for the community that we put together. So make sure to join us on Discord if you wanna make fun of each other with us. And I wanna say thanks to everyone that likes, comments, and subscribes. Comment down below what you would add to your second layer, Molly. I wanna hear about it. And I also wanna hear how much you also wanna see some sideways pincer pouches. All right, everyone, wash out. Uh, apparently today was the day for everyone to mow their lawn. So this video, I also had to change this loadout in between shots, but then also I've already had to take a bunch of other footage of how it's set up and make sure it actually works in this configuration by testing it out the range. So I've probably put this whole panel together and undone probably 20 times. So, uh, yeah, I probably just need to order another panel because I don't want to do that anymore. I do like this setup though. Um, I may just move this over, take this multi-tool pouch off so that this is a little bit more secure or see what actually does. I swear to you, they're probably going to do something like this because it's smart and it's pretty cool. It, it does hook on things. I need, I need to test it with a sling. I joked about it, but I, I really do need to test it. All right, cool stuff. You guys asked to see, oh, I got a bull video coming up for you. I'm gonna test some accuracy. There was some weirdo stuff with a previous video, so I got one. I'll show you guys next, and then we'll do the backpacks. That's coming up, the three top 
backpacks, plate carrier backpacks. You guys want to see it. You guys voted for it. All right. You guys are awesome. But you got to go away. <laughs>